Losing a beloved animal is traumatic enough, but imagine having your pet cremated, then wondering if you receive the wrong ashes. One woman has been struggling this with this for the last three years. After initially sharing her story with the I team, consumer investigator Randy Mack found out she's now taking action to help other pet owners. Losing a pet is never easy. When Hillary Levy's beloved dog Wesley died, it was really tough. What made it even worse is she told us back then she suspected his cremated remains weren't his. I immediately went back to the vets and said, no, this is not Wesley. Here's why Hillary thought that. Her dog Winnie, a 26 pound Cocker Spaniel, died a year earlier and her ashes weighed six and a half ounces. But Wesley's ashes, a 12 pound miniature pincher, weighed eight. For both dogs, Hillary paid for a private cremation, meaning they were supposed to be cremated individually, not with other animals. Hillary didn't understand how Wesley's ashes could have weighed more than a dog's twice his size. They had given me the wrong ashes. After we interviewed Hillary, she sued the crematory for negligence. A judge first tossed the case, but Hillary appealed, and a second judge ruled the case could move forward. Her attorney says it's a sign courts are finally viewing pets as family members. And said when you're in the business of selling sentiments around animals and when people are hiring you because they believe that you are um, you view the animal similar to the way that they view the animal such as a family member you can't then turn around and say oh well they're just property under the law and therefore there's no liability the crematory agreed to settle the case those details are confidential but this win is now giving hillary the oomph to keep pushing forward. Consumers need to be protected against this type of um, activity. Some states like Illinois and Arizona regulate the pet cremation industry, but California doesn't. There's no oversight board, no required record keeping or protocols, nothing. Hillary wants to change that. She and her lawyers are working to propose legislation that would require all pet crematories to be licensed by the state veterinary board and they want facilities to prove private cremations are happening through a tagging process and cameras. I think mirroring what crematories do with humans is exactly what we should be following. Passing legislation will likely be a tough road, but Hillary's determined so other pet owners don't have to go through what she did. This is so important for my well-being as well as everyone else's well-being who chooses to uh, cremate their pets. Uh, we're going to continue to follow Hillary's progress, and we will let you know if any lawmakers take up this issue in the form of a bill. Reporting live in Chino Hills, I'm Randy Mack for NBC4 News. All right.